I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Uh, the outhouse is gross today, and it will be gross forever. Well, all the bacteria die during the winter, so anything you smell and don't like in there is your own brand, just so you know. Ugh, well, then I'm a disgusting animal. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, um, I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. It's not really your business. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the one who brought her up.
Yeah, well, you ask a lot of fucking questions, you know that? Would you rather we just don't get to know each other? No. Then don't swear at me. Then please don't be so nosy. Or maybe I'm just being nice. God, your wife must be a saint to put up with such a fucking asshole. I'm gonna go do something. I'll have a radio if you need anything, or better, if you decide to chill out. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh... You don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. This outhouse is in the middle of nowhere. Well, I hate to tell you, but everything out here is in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean. Am I on the right track? Just keep following the wire to the top of the ridge, and then you can head back.
Whoa, I, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. And what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Turt Reynolds. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is... illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm... I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them.
Now they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Ah. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. 
Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Ugh. <sighs> 
Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account even if it means giving his life? Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man, 